Hi, so I just did this entire reading only just to discover that it did not record. Uh, there was no sound, there's no picture. Generally, I'll, I'm going to go through this kind of quickly, all right? Um, I feel like you should be very excited and you should be expecting a miracle. There's something that you began, it's a process that is continuing from the past. This is something that started in your heart space. I feel like you were dealing with a lie in the past and you needed to put it to rest. You needed to put it where it belonged. And I feel like this is about, it relates to, I feel like this is what was said about you that you may have felt that you were stabbed in the back. Um, there also came through the metaphor several times of feeling as though you were nailed to a cross. And I feel like in the past there was a lot of focus on the past and where you had been, who betrayed you. Um, it was all part of your process of discovering your magic. And by the way, this was supposed to be a reader for a reader. It's supposed to be a reading for readers. Um, somebody suggested that I do that, and of course what came out is the orator card, right? Is the speaker, the pilgrim, the traveler, the adventurer, the wise one, um, as well as the acolyte, the student, and the teacher. It is the guide, the spiritual guide, and I feel like you may feel right now that you have shot off in the wrong direction, or you're going to end up in some place where you don't want to be, but the clear message coming through is that you can trust, you should trust. Trust spirit. Everything is turning in your favor, in your direction. I feel like you don't think that this is going to turn out very well. I feel like you're you're wrong, um, and you should definitely expect a miracle. There's also something here with the pilgrim card coming out about a long journey and charting the course, planning your course. Uh, we have the cartographer coming through at the bottom of the deck, the cardographer, right, for card readers, uh, as well as just for people who are planning a trip, charting a course. You're going to be going somewhere. And something about makeup keeps wanting to come through. I do feel like we want to remember, remember, particularly for you teachers and guides, leaders, spiritual teachers, leaders, that sort of thing. You want to be flexible and remember what it was like to be a student yourself. Also keep in mind that you actually are a student, right? If we are um, into tarot, crystals, astrology, numerology, the Kabbalah, whatever it may be, there's an endless source of learning. And all of these things, they're the treasure chest of endless, endless capacity to continue to learn. I hope that made sense. Um, oh, and you want to go and check out the lyrics to Adele's Rolling in the Deep. You know what? I'm going to put them in the comments to this video. Maybe I'll go and put it in the comments to the last uh, reading, recorded reading I put out because the lyrics, holy crap, shaman, shaman lyrics. Um, and I do feel that you are the shaman and that you had to crawl around in the darkness and find the light that was within yourself. You went on a seek, I feel like for many people, you went on a seek for financial resources, abundance, stability, somebody you could trust, and I feel like you are waiting. <laughs> You're waiting. You're like, wait a second, has it come yet? Where is it? Why is it not come to me here? There's a bit of a sense of frustration with the waiting and a sense like you went off in the wrong direction, but I really, really want to tell you that you didn't. Um, you did not. Let's see one more tarot card, please, for incoming. Ten of Wands in the reverse. Seven of Wands. There's a job incoming. There's a job incoming. Four of Swords, your strengths for today. Peace. Um, stresslessness. Communing with spirits. The Hangman in the reverse. Pisces energy. Feeling like you need to sacrifice yourself for the entire world so that everybody else can be comfortable. Seven of Swords, Eight of Cups. Someone's sneaking away, walking away, because you have a lot of choices. Hierophant, Taurus energy. All is just exactly as it should be. I do feel like you're going to be getting a great deal of attention. You do want to make sure that your boundaries are shored up for all of you readers that came through previously. Making sure that you're not sacrificing yourself for the better of all of the people that you're working with. Um, physician, heal thyself. Yeah, you probably have memories of um, being Jesus Christ. Do you? Let me know. Let me know in the comments. Or send me an email. 
or maybe you have memories of helping to take Jesus Christ down off the cross. Some very, very exciting news is coming in. Yeah, see? Nine of Cups, Temperance, whoa, and the Three of Wands. These are all pre-magician, pre-empress energies, and Temperance is the master mind. I just wanted to come through. Justice. There's an injustice. An injustice been perpetuated. Cancer, Pisces, Scorpio, the devil, Ten of Cups in the reverse, the star. My God. You've been working on this for quite some time. You maybe have been building a business, building a campaign, building a channel. It's really, really unfair the way things happen, but they are working out in your favor, and somehow it's very likely you're going to be getting in something, something that you really, really want that's going to help you out to move forward in the situation and to correct the injustice. Um, I feel like there's a, there's a lot of, like... Um, I don't want to correct the injustice because you don't want to dedicate yourself to toxicity or sickness. If you're a healer, if you're a helper, a server, you're often, you often end up working with people who are sick, who are needy, um, and that can be frustrating. And you might be like, oh God, what am I signing myself up for? Have no fear, you may trust in spirit. You may trust, trust, trust in spirit. Trust in the, in the espiritu that this situation, this card just want to flip flop all over the table, flip flop and away, oh the near your destination, oh, yeah, mm -hmm. bide your time, plan ahead, bide your time, plan ahead, trust in spirit, and hold your horses. There's been a massive injustice, and I do feel... I do feel that you were nailed to a cross. And this is the sense of like just having been taken down from the cross. Um, there's a moment there when you take in your breath only just so that you can cry. And there's this massive like, I don't know if I can continue even though I have now been saved. That was so tremendously painful that I don't know if I want to continue. That was the past. Now it's time to know that, I don't know, it's almost like you don't have to continue. If you're so tired, if you have that feeling of just being, having been taken down off the cross, it's like you can exhale that great sob and there's like the heaviest of heavy feelings coming through. My face wants to like, ah, it's a very, very, you know, those moments when you just finished crying and you're trying to get your breath and you're like, when you were little or maybe when you were big, um, yeah. This is ending up in your favor. There's victory that's coming through again. It's going to be able, this, whatever's happening for you right now is setting you up to take a trip. You're going to sneak off out of here. You want to plan the trip. Make sure you plan for it to be everything that you want for it to be. And then take your time and put the plan into action. Oh, that was also about... Um, for those of you magical souls, readers, spiritualists, spiritual guides, you can totally, and spirit is like inviting you, to please go write down a version of your life that is total and pure fantasy. That would be like a dream come true and watch that come true in your life. That is cool, but it's also a little scary because it means you're very, very powerful. Is there anything else that we need to know here? Hangman, Pisces energy in the reverse. Seven of Wands, Seven of Wands, clarifying the Seven of Wands, and the Hangman in the Reverse. The Hangman in the Reverse is learning about boundaries, learning about not sacrificing yourself for the people around you. Boundaries, ladies and gentlemen, boundaries, and that's for sure for all the empaths and the readers. Boundaries, boundaries. It's so easy to say. Ace of Cups in the Reverse, Judgment in the Reverse. 
the hermit. Okay, so you had in, improper boundaries in the past and they got violated. You got nailed to a cross. Now you're like, okay, I learned my lesson. And the three of swords just flipped itself over in my hands. I've learned my lesson. I've done the healing. But you're like focused on the past. Is that going to happen again? Are we? Is this what we're going through again? Because I feel like you're somebody who's like, I'm not going to be nailed to another cross. So, yeah. If you're planning on nailing me to a cross, go yourself. That came out in the previous reading. I accidentally gave the uh, one of these cards my middle finger. So, yep, you see there? Oh, it was about the past. F the past. Screw the past. Allow the past to go where it belongs in the past. And brand new opportunity. You don't see this coming. Or, or you don't know what a fantastic opportunity this is for you. And this is also bringing through the the message or the reminder for readers. I hope you're still with me so that you get this message. But that it's time to stop talking about the past, to stop putting so much, so much emphasis on the past. When we do these readings, it's the emphasis should be placed on what we have learned from the past in order to move forward in a way that is much more pleasant and much more um self-disciplined and the self-discipline for the people i'm talking to seems to be all about making sure that your boundaries are where they should be you're not being over defensive you're not being under defensive there's a brand new very very beautiful opportunity coming in seems that it's a job i get the sense that this probably is not a job in a building for some of you it may be like you're going to be an employee but I actually get the sense like this is yours this is something that you're putting together and you're nervous about how much effort it's going to take from you just always be focusing for spirit <laughs> for spirit for spirit speakers let spirit be your guide always be focusing on spirit and let us focus on the light so that we can help people develop the wisdom that that they need that we all need in order to harness the powers of the sun and the moon leo and, and scorpio came in through heavy in the previous one previous reading the chariot cancer energy four swords in the reverse the emperor aries energy the star aquarius energy in the reverse five of page of swords in the reverse five of swords in the reverse Okay, so there's some dirty-ass liar. And you are going to get that away from this person. Adam and Eve had children. Probably they had, like, six children. And very likely they were born in sets of twins. Just consider the dynamics that everything will have changed with the first set of twins and then the second set and then the third set. Now mom and dad are going to get frustrated with each other because they're not able to spend as much time with each other as they did previously. And babies are taking away the attention. If a daughter, for example, say her name is Lilith, takes away attention from the mother, say her name is Eve, because Lilith and Adam, say, get along very, very well, Whose responsibility is that? Is that Lilith's responsibility? Is that Lilith's fault for stealing the dad away from the mom? Or did Lilith get blamed inappropriately and then cut out of the Bible? However, she really wasn't cut out of the Bible, was she? Because we still all know her name and we talk about her and she's a rebellious little person. Naughty, naughty, naughty little girl. Hmm. It's not Adam's first wife. It was his daughter. Um, one of his daughters. Where is everyone else? We don't know their names. And the High Priestess card, which came out previously. The High Priestess card, she sits, there are two pillars. One is labeled J and the other one is labeled B. It's supposedly for Boaz and Hakim, Hokim. Um, so we do know this name, Hokim, death, Scorpio energy. There she is, the High Priestess and the sun. There's the Leo energy. Um, the pillars. She was turned into a pillar of salt. He was turned into a pillar of pepper. By the way, you want to use a pepper grinder because apparently black pepper has oil in it that is best um, eaten when it's just recently been crunched, ground. <laughs> anyway, the children. What happened to the children and why were the children cut out the Bible? Why would the priests want for us only just to know about Adam and Eve and why would the priests blame the baby girl? 
if the Bible and the Dead Sea Scrolls and the Torah and all of the Islamic texts, texts, tests, if these were all journals, things that people wrote down, it'd be questionable whether or not they actually wanted other people to read them, right? I have journals. I have a, a, a ton and a half of them. They're not meant for other people's eyes. It's good to go back and go through all of this stuff. Um, I thought that was the Ten of Pentacles for a second. I'd be like, what? Yeah, justice keeps on coming out in the reverse. There has been a massive injustice perpetrated. Probably goes back to the story that I was just telling. I just interrupted my own self talking about the children and how the children disappeared, why little Lilith got all the blame for breaking up a happy home. Was If it was such a happy home, how could the little girl break it up? And why would the mother not be the one to take responsibility? Why would the daughter take responsibility? Or, hey, here's a new concept. Why wouldn't the dad be the one to take responsibility for the relationship that he had with his daughter? This kind of goes back to the idea that parents don't know everything. They're not perfect people just because they're older. Um... I feel like I guess I guess I should take some time to write all of this stuff down so that I can communicate it to you in a better way. It's very likely that I didn't just communicate it very well and maybe pissed some of you off. It's all right. That's okay. Um, we can continue this conversation. <laughs> It does seem like, I don't know, there's something that's not over. Somebody else seems to be celebrating. Um, they're getting together with friends. They are feeling a little bit guilty. Um, they're feeling a little bit guilty for the ability to achieve your means, your ends. Um, it's going to be time for you to, I feel like that was actually you in the future. But um, this, it's going to be time to put together a plan. It's going to take some effort for you to fix the situation and to bring justice into the situation. I feel like you're afraid that it's going to take way more effort that you than you want to put in. Um, be careful with that because there's all of this magician energy going on around here. And so this is the time. I think I just said it. I'll say it one more time. Sit down and write about your story in a way that you want to experience it in the future. And you're going to see that, like, I don't know, whatever you write down is going to come true. Okay. And I feel like you're going to be working with someone or you are working with someone. You may feel like it's right now like a bit of a waste of time. It's totally not. There's joy, clarity, clairvoyance, um, mastery, 11D, that's 10 and 1, oh, or 11. <laughs> and the hermit, 9, 10, 11, 9, 19, and 1. I don't know where, I, with the numbers that I just said, but 9, 19, and 1 is 29. 9, 19, and 1 is also 1991. So this could be talking, going back to something that happened or something that you learned in 1991 that was wrong, was unfair, was unjust. Last story. The mother who gets jealous of her daughter for getting so much attention from the father. Who's... Who's the screwed up one in that situation? The little girl doesn't deserve the blame. The little girl doesn't deserve the blame. It's mom and dad. Mom and dad needed to work this thing out. Mom and dad needed to get it straight between mom and dad and quit blaming your kids for the funky dynamics in your relationship because children are not, they're not solutions. They're not yours to use as you will. Probably you know that, but maybe you're working with someone who's using their child like a tool or you know something about this biblical story. The dogs are at the gate. I'm going to go let them in. Just quick once more before I sign off. Let's go ahead and ring. Ooh, you're entering the ring. Finger in the reverse. Bird perched, waiting for news. Package a letter. Target, a goal-oriented person. I feel like you hit your target. I feel like you're afraid that you didn't hit your target with the archer. Came out in the reverse, but you did. See? You did it. There's also batting. That's a batting metaphor. Watch the ball, and it's going to end up where you go to. And that goes back to write down the story that you want to experience in your life. Pineapple, reconciliation. Love it. Star, guaranteed success. Someone will gossip about all of your secrets. Fair woman, dealing a relationship with a fair woman. Blonde gray or white hair. 
Teardrop, great personal sorrow. Mm. This situation is going to come through for you, and it's like it's going to heal. It's going to heal something, but someone's going to be unhappy. There's going to need to be a reconciliation. I feel like you are entering into the ring. Yeah, there's a fair woman who is going to be experiencing great personal sorrow. I feel like there's somebody who is sorry about the way they treated you, and they're seeing you. Um, they're seeing that things are really working out for you. I feel like this is somebody who breadcrumbed you in the past. This could very well be somebody who gave you a teeny tiny little bit in order to take a tremendous amount from you. You may have felt very left out and like things were not fair, but you did the right thing and you stuck to your spiritual path. Um, you never gave up. And where did that get you? Success. Like the Queen of Wands standing on the stage, the Queen of Wands entering through the door, the Queen of Wands, the world, success. Take your place on the stage. You have phenomenal judgment. This is your opportunity to prove it. Things are being healed, and this is a time for learning and teaching and guidance. Um, you do want to prepare to go on this trip so that you can reconcile. It's simply a matter of time before you do reconcile. Goodness gracious. This is starting brand new. There's a big deal. You're going to have to fix this. I feel like you're going to figure out how to fix it. You're not telling people how you figure it out. You're just going to be very healthy and not toxic. And you know who not to trust in your family. Aquarius energy coming through. Tons of tons of really positive attention headed your way. Should we just leave it at that? Should we leave it at that? Should we leave it at that? Warning you a problem either now or in the near future. I feel like it's like you're gonna you're gonna start to be getting uh, lot lots and lots of attention, and I feel like you're unapologetic, and you're a guide or you're a, a leader. You're some kind of very successful individual. You climb them steps. Now you're gonna be able to like, I don't know. You're climbing the steps. Excuse me. Too happy, and somebody does not like it, and it looks like they're gonna start talking shit about you. Hello. Because honor and respect is going to come to you. Do not be tempted to lower your standards. Horse. Short journey. I feel like you're going to be going on a long journey. The horse does keep on coming through. And the unicorn. But we're going to leave it at that. Because I don't want to ramble on. Sending you guys love. Kisses. Light. Ashe. Today. And always. See you again soon. Squeakle says bye.